Our sun might have a long lost twin in the Milky Way. We'll never find it, but the evidence for it could be all around us. Our solar system is surrounded by something called an Oort cloud, a vast region full of ice and debris that's much bigger than the region that includes all the planets. It extends halfway to the nearest star. It has a hundred billion objects in it, researchers think. But the Oort cloud is sort of difficult to explain. All of the planets and most of the asteroids in our solar system basically exist on a single disk, a flat plane. And the reason for that is that they formed out of a disk-shaped cloud. So they're all kind of on a line with each other. But the Oort cloud isn't on that plane. The Oort cloud is a sphere. And we know it's a sphere because the evidence for it is all the comets that come out of the Oort cloud and into our solar system. And they come in from just all sorts of directions. But there's no good way, based on models of how our solar system formed, to really explain how all those objects got there and got into that arrangement. Avi Loeb, a researcher at Harvard University known for wild and exciting ideas about how space works, wrote in a new paper with his student Amir Siraj that that Oort cloud, that vast sphere, that mysterious vast sphere full of stuff we can't explain, might be a footprint of a long lost binary twin of our sun. Now, binary stars are pretty common in space. Two stars just that form together or get captured by one another and end up orbiting around each other, orbiting a common point between them. Um, and if our sun had a binary twin when it was born in this birth cluster full of stars that gave birth to our sun and many other objects and would have been full of stuff, working together, their gravity would have done a much better job of collecting debris into an Oort cloud around each star. Uh, at least that's what Loeb says. Now, we don't know for sure if this binary twin existed, but Loeb said it would do a much better job of explaining the Oort cloud than any models of how our solar system evolved that just have the sun by itself. The good news is that there's actually a way to test whether this is true. One of the reasons that Loeb began wondering about this is a lot of scientists believe that there's actually a ninth undetected planet in our solar system drifting somewhere way out beyond Neptune, deep in the solar system, in the region of the Oort cloud. And the reason scientists think this is that objects beyond Neptune are sort of clustered as if some, there's some sort of tugboat out there pulling them into formation with gravity. Now, if that's true, if there's a big, heavy planet out there, and it would be pretty heavy, so I just think it has like five to ten times the mass of the sun, then that's even harder to explain. How did a planet get out there so far beyond the disk that formed all the other planets? Uh, and Loeb said that if the binary hypothesis is true, then Planet Nine didn't originate in our solar system. It probably originated somewhere in the cluster of stars where a sun was born, and our sun, working together with its binary twin, might have captured it. But it wouldn't have just captured Planet Nine. It would likely have captured many, many other dwarf planets, you know, pl small planets that don't quite reach the full planet classification, but are on the size of Pluto or Ceres or these objects we do see around our solar system. And if there are lots of dwarf planets out there in the Oort cloud, there's really no way our sun could have done that on its own. It would have needed a binary twin, at least according to Loeb, to capture such a wide array of planets. Right now, planet nine has not been directly detected and there's no evidence for these other dwarf planets. But Loeb said that future telescopes, particularly a telescope called the LSST, that are coming online in the next few years that are gonna do a really good job of doing big scans of the sky might be able to detect not just planet nine, but also these other dwarf planets, these dim, dim points of light drifting in this vast region of space. And while that wouldn't 100% prove that our sun had a binary twin, it would be very strong suggestive evidence. So right now, ha have we proved that there's a twin? No. Do we know where it went? No, but probably another star came by and knocked it out of orbit with our sun. And we'll probably never find it. So much time would have passed, billions of years since our sun lost its twin. They're probably in totally different parts of the Milky Way at this point, Loeb said. But we might be able to show that it was once there. That's pretty cool.
Thank you.